Cecila, in our language, the Lummi language, means our grandmother. And really, uh, my richest teachings have come from my grandmother and my great-grandmother, whether directly or passed down through family. So Cecila really uh, brings a voice, a grandmother voice, to the environmental conversation and the conversations around salmon, orcas, land, air, and to uh, the fact that everything has a spirit. The trip to D.C., the Red Road to D.C., it represents something worth fighting for. Protection of sacred sites, protection of water, of resources, of salmon, future generations. Uh, it brought a, a voice for all of that. As we delivered that to Deb Holland, hands were placed upon it, prayers from all across the country. Really, that's what the Red Road was. It brought ceremony and spirit together. That's one of the things that stood out the most, seeing that there's still a need, and there will always be a need for us to go and, and take a look around and see what others are going through and stand with them. We saw that all across the country. We saw that at every stop, whether it was the Snake River or as we got to the Midwest or the East Coast. Everyone needs others to stand with them. It's hard to do anything alone, but it's easier when you have folks behind you to help fight those fights. We have to come together. We have to find empathy for what others are going through. And we have to build bridges. So for myself, I, I live in two worlds. You may have a perception of myself and my people and my way of life. So it's my job to help create understanding. And, and I think uh, Wacom Dispute Resolution um, has the, the same objectives and goals and uh, empathy for others, and uh, uh, for that I'm grateful. To have peace, we have to have empathy. It makes a big difference when you have a lot of people doing a lot to create peace.